Hi, my name is Benny and welcome to my channel. Today we will open door number 15. Stay tuned! So, I am excited, <laughs> as every day. Number 15, aha! Oh, -ho, this is the door, great door. Oh, -ho! <laughs> cool! Yes, the cups, the cups and bolts. That's great, I like this trick. I love this trick because it's it's so so funny you can do a lot lot of things with this um yes i probably know which uh, which uh, routine they want to use with this yes the classic uh the classic ball uh, cups and balls routine so i want to show you now the classic routine that comes in this book um yes nothing fancy so and magic wand three balls and three cups yes look if i place ball number one on top of the cup with the magic wand i tap and now the ball passes through yes so another time ball number two <laughs> and now, tack, there are two balls. So now, uh, last but not least, ball number three, like this, okay? Now, I snap my finger, I tap with the wand, and now, abracadabra, there are the three balls. I love this trick. I really really love this trick. This trick is so versatile. Um, so there are many 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 magicians that used uh, this routine and they do this effect. Uh, Di Vernon was a great great master or the master. Uh, Michael Emma has also a very very nice routine who was influenced by, by Di Vernon because yes he studied with him and uh, yes a lot lot of more. They also Magicians who did uh, this with two cups, um, like Tommy Wonder, um, a really, for me, the best close-up magician in this world. Um, yes, he was very, very creative uh, and, and a lot of more. So you have Gatso also the three cups and, and um, if you're typing uh, cups and balls on YouTube, you will find a lot, lot of versions this. So I showed you the, yes, the classic uh, version that comes in this book. Now we show you a little mix uh, of ideas for the productions. Um, so, I have here three cups and a magic wand. Look, if I'm tapping, I make like this, yeah? If I'm tapping like this on my hand, now we have a ball. We can continue, look, I'm tapping and a ball appear, yes? Look, these balls are not normal, the cups too, look, because in the, in the center here is a hole, you see? Look, oh ho! <laughs> so, for ball number three, we use the one, I'm sorry. We use the wand one and two. You see, now the ball is on the cup. And yes, so you have this idea. I think um, there are many magicians. They do this. Michael Emma and yes, a lot of more. So to play around with uh, with the production, okay, to produce first the balls and then to make. Things. You can also do uh, some cool things. Um, uh, so the classic, the classic thing is uh, you vanish the ball one by one like this. Oh, <laughs> and it's here. <laughs> so now, 
Who is? Ah, uh, yeah, also. Uh, there. Uh, there. Ah, uh, no, there. Okay. Um, one trick. Uh, one idea is also this one. To have... Well, if you are using an, an, a magic wand. Oh, they go through. This is a nice illusion. Uh, this goes like this. You tap. And then you come with... Uh, with a wand behind the cup like this and with the finger you go inside okay so I'm tapping one two and at three I go with the wand behind and with the finger inside and so this gives the illusion that uh, the magic wand penetrates through, through the cup very very nice so I hope you enjoyed this uh, classic in magic, this wonder, wonderful trick. Um, we we'll see us tomorrow. I wish you a very, very nice day. Bye bye and stay tuned.